Elgato just launched a brand new OBS plugin that completely changes how creators set up their OBS. In today's video, I'll show you how to install it and set it up. It's extremely easy, so without further ado, let's hop right into it. So first things first, what you'll need to do is go to this website that will be linked down in the description below. As I said, they just launched this brand new plugin called Marketplace Connect. Keep in mind, this video is not sponsored or anything like that. I'm not getting paid to promote this, but I just think that this tool is really sick for beginner content creators and people that just don't know how to set up their OBS correctly. And this helps a lot. You can basically share your OBS setup and download it and completely import it with just like a few clicks without having to tinker around anything. It's not complicated at all. First note is that it only works on Windows but there's this button called get the plugin. You click on it. It takes you to this website where you scroll down and you can see uh, Marketplace Connect for OBS. Current version is 1.0.1, which is like brand new. So there might be a few updates later on. It does say it requires Windows 11, but that's not true. I'm on Windows 10, it works fine. So keep that in mind as well. Click on download, install it. It's a pretty simple installer. You just go next, next, you choose your OBS folder, you go next and it installs it just like that. Once you do that, you open up your OBS and let me show you how to use it. So once you have your OBS open up, all you have to do is go to tools right over here and then you'll find Elgato Marketplace Connect. If you see this, then that means that you've installed the plugin correctly. If you don't see this, something is wrong, make sure to install the plugin again. Uh, click on this. It's going to ask you to log in. So you just simply log into your Elgato account. Once you've done that, it says you don't have any uh, scene collections products yet. You click on Explore Marketplace. It will take you to this website where you can find a bunch of different sources, scene collections, whatever. So let's look into this. There's a lot of free options and there's some paid options. So what we want to do, for example, let's choose free animated stream package, which, which is obviously free. It's animated. It looks pretty cool. Everything's fine about it. You can see the resolution. You simply click on the get button. It takes a few seconds and then it will be added onto our OBS and we can import it just like that. Once you've clicked on get, you will see open in OBS Studio. You click on this button. It's going to say adding to OBS Studio and you click on open and this should add it to our OBS Studio just like that. So give it a second. Let's wait it out. If it doesn't, you might have to restart your OBS, so keep that in mind as well. If you don't see it immediately, you go to Tools, uh, Marketplace Connect one more time, and you will see it load right over here. Now you will see the download button on the side. You click on that. It will download the package, and once it does that, you will install it automatically. Look at this. It's super, super simple. You click on Get Started. It asks you for the collection name. We can just write one, two, three, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, webcam, you choose which one is your webcam source. Mine is the Live Gamer Duo 2. You can, you can see it right over here. You click on OK. And then it asks you for your microphone. I choose my microphone right over here. Click on Continue. And I have imported the scene collection automatically. As you can see, it doesn't match my resolution because I'm using the 2K uh, over here and the actual scene collection is 1080p. And if I simply click on this log button right over here and I resize it, it will be perfectly fine. You can see how easy it is to install a scene collection and set up your OBS. Usually this would take like minutes, maybe hours to manually import the browser sources to set up everything. But this is all like few clicks and it's working fine. If you go to main, it, it has like smooth uh, transitions as well. You can see like which uh, ones you want for your webcam. Like for example, do I want a circular webcam? Do I want a one by one camera? Whatever, you can resize it, you can make it bigger, you can change. For example, my camera is like messed up, but that's because I'm using a stretched out camera and not a square one. So you can see it works fine for the 16 by nine. But if I was using it one by one, then it would be better on that. Now I can resize it. I can make it whatever I want, wherever I want. Same for the BRB screen. It has all the transitions. I can make it 2K right over here, fit in. It has every single thing that you want. It's extremely, extremely easy to set up and it works just fine. And that's basically it. That's how you can set up your OBS in just a few clicks with this awesome new plugin. You don't have to tinker around with all these browser sources, set up files manually. It's just a few clicks and that's it. 
If you guys did like this video, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.